Hello and welcome back to another edition of Dimensional Analysis. Now for this example, we will be doing a little different from our previous examples because our previous examples were mostly on the unit of length. In this example, what we will be converting is in the unit of your volume. Okay, so you are very familiar with the unit liters and gallons. You hear them a lot every day. So what we will be doing is we'll be converting 4 liters into the unit of gallons. Okay, so the unit in liters is usually used in soft drinks, in your familiar uh, units, at, uh, volume units that you use at your house. But in the older times, they use gallons. Okay, so we now convert this value into the unit gallons. All right. So as usual, we start with what is given: four point zero zero liters, and we need to multiply that with a certain conversion factor to arrive at our answer in the unit in gallons. So of course, we need one, as you can see, one part conversion factor. So we need one equivalent statement, and that is equal to one gallon, and that is the U.S. gallon I'm referring to, is approximately equal to three point seventy nine liters. Now. As you might know already that there are a lot of values for the unit gallons. We have what we call as the imperial gallon. We also have what we call as the UK gallon. And we also have the US dry gallon. But for this example, we will be using the US gallon. Now we need to convert this equivalent statement into a conversion factor and properly place it here. So to co cancel out the unit liters, of course, th the value here should have the unit liters as well. So we do that. We write that down. So there, we now have written... Our equivalent statement, the corresponding conversion factor. Remembering this capital L here represents or is the abbreviation of the unit liters. Alright? So for us to clearly see the cancellation of units, we now try to cancel this out liters. Alright. We have cancelled our given unit. We are now left with our desired unit in gallons. Then we do the calculation to arrive to our answer, and that is equal to 1.0554 gallons as shown in my calculator but as always we need to look at the number of significant figures in the given for us to report it in our final answer so we look at 4.00 that contains three significant figures so we now look back at our answer and we should only report three significant figures we have one two and three now look at the next digit that's five so it's either we add more 1 or we just simply retain 5. But look in, looking on the next digit, it's an even number 4. So we simply add 1 more. So our final answer is equal to 1.06 gallons. Here is our final answer based on the number of significant figures here. And that is all for this example. Thank you for listening and always continue learning.